Hello, I forgot my water. Give me two seconds to grab my water. <clears throat> oh, I'm a couple minutes late. I had a meeting at work that ran just a little bit over, which is the story of my life some days. Uh, but I'm here and I'm excited to stamp with you. Let's see, I'm just gonna lower this so that we can see without a glare. Whew, who's joining me today on their lunch break? Make sure you say hello. Tell me where you're from. <clears throat> I'm just adjusting some stuff so that I have some room to talk to you here for a minute. It's been quite a morning at work. I'm really glad to have this creative break in my day. Being um, creative and stamping has really helped me to find some balance and I, I just love doing it. So I'm excited to stamp with you over my lunch break. Um, for those of you who don't know me, my name is Rose Grunewald. I'm an independent demonstrator with Stampin' Up. I'm stamping with you today from my beautiful stamping studio here in New Holstein, Wisconsin, which right now also doubles as my work from home space. So I don't have to go too far to come over and stamp with you. Um, thank you so much for watching me and joining me today. Um, I so appreciate your support of my small business here in rural Wisconsin. Um, you can help me out by commenting. So make sure you're saying hi and interacting with me. You also can help support my small business by sharing this video. So I would love it. It totally makes my day. If you just take a minute and hit that share button down there and share this on your timeline, that helps me to get creativity into lots more people's um, computer screens or phone screens and that totally makes me happy. Plus, I give away fabulous prizes that you only get a chance to win if you have shared um, today. My fabulous prize is these rhinestone jewels. I love these. I love to add bling to my cards. Um, and so that's my prize for sharing. You get the best prizes for sharing. I also give away prizes for comments. And our prize today for that is the slimline card that we made last week our gorgeous slimline card with our envelope. That's our commenting prize. So prizes go a long way. I see Lisa's watching and Karen is watching. Hi, Lisa. Thanks for joining. And Karen, hi from snowy Ontario, Canada. I'm so excited for snow this year. Um, I'm always excited at this time of year for snow. And then it seems like um, January and February hit and I'm over the snow. But for right now, I'm really excited for it. And I'm excited for ice. Um, John and I are really looking forward to doing some ice fishing this year. So thank you so much, Lisa and Karen, for sharing. I so appreciate that. Thank you. Hi, Cindy. Cindy's joining us. Welcome. <clears throat> Before I get to stamping, I just want to take a hot minute here to rec uh, to remind you that right now <clears throat> I still have my holiday countdown promotion going on. So when you purchase from me um, at least 50 bucks and you use my host code, there's only a few days left of that host code, VNYQBQJN, you will um, get a free embellishment from me and a free PDF tutorial full of 10 beautiful holiday cards. I see we've got some new people or more people watching. Make sure you say hello in the comments and take a minute to share this video. I so, so, so appreciate that. Today we are stamping. We are making a really simple but super stunning, beautiful card. I'm super excited to show you this. But I think we should do some prizes first. What do you think? So 
First, I will do my prize for commenting. Hi, Sue. Welcome. I know your lunch break is short today. Uh, thank you for stopping by. I love it when you join me here. Okay, so remember our slimline card from last week. Hi, Kathy. Um, this is the prize for commenting. And our winner for this card is Rhonda Myers. So congratulations, Rhonda. I need your address, Rhonda. So if you wouldn't mind shooting me um, a private message with your address, I can get this in the mail to you. Otherwise, you can send me an email if you prefer, countrycardsbyrose at gmail.com. Um, and you have two weeks, guys, to claim your prize. Otherwise, it goes back into the prize bucket. My next prize is for sharing our rhinestone basic jewels. Thank you so much for sharing. Robin Raditz, you are my winner of these jewels. So Robin, I already have your address, so I will get these in the mail to you this week. Congrats, ladies. <clears throat> I think we should do some stamping. What do you think? Let me flip my camera. So today um, we're using, this is probably one of my favorite stamp sets from the holiday catalog, believe it or not. And the reason I love it is that it's so simple. So first of all, I personally absolutely love the bundles that coordinate a stamp set with a punch. I'm a punch gal. I love my punches. Cards come together really quickly and easily. Um, and the other thing that I love about this particular punch bundle is that it is not just focused on Halloween or Christmas. You've got fall and Halloween stuff going on here. Of course, you've got a couple, and here's another Halloween, a couple um, Christmas greetings, and then a to and from. So it coordinates with this punch for a tag. So it'd be super easy to stamp your to and from. And this tag is called the Essential Tag Punch. And then we also have a Valentine's Day, a little heart in these flowers. Um, a Valentine's Day stamp, and then these adorable little birds. I just think those are so cute. So um, today we're using some Christmas stuff. And we are also using our Heartwarming Hugs Designer Series paper. And I'm flipping it over because I always like to be reminded of the colors that coordinate with this. So <clears throat> this one coordinates with Mossy Meadow, Pear Pizzazz, Real Red and Whisper White. These are the colors that are in here. I've been using this like crazy, so I don't have all my full sheets yet, but come on. you can see how beautiful this paper is. Now, just a reminder that if you are looking to order any of this stuff to put together Christmas tags or even Christmas cards yet, which by the way, if you have not started making your own Christmas cards and you want to, the design I'm gonna show you today is simple and quick enough that you absolutely still have time to make your Christmas cards and get them in the mail and get them to your friends and family. Um, <clears throat> December 9th, is the last day that Stampin' Up! recommends placing an order to make sure your stuff is here by Christmas. So um, we've got about a week for that. So I just wanna give you a heads up. Okay, for this card, I want to use, um, I'm gonna use this pattern here from the Heartwarming Hugs. The other side is a beautiful red and white striped pattern. These stripes are very, very popular. And I'm also going to use Mossy Meadow and Real Red. So uh, let's see. I always like to look and see which do I want as my layer and which do I want as my card base. And I think for this one, I want Mossy Meadow as my base, Real Red as my layer. So remember our base for the standard A2 size cards that I like to make. Our base is super simple. It's a half a sheet of cardstock. You either cut it this way or you cut it this way. So this particular one, I'm cutting this way. And then we've got a card base ready to go for our next card that we wanna make. 
And then for our layers, I'm gonna cut my real red down to five and a quarter by four. So let me cut that really quick. And then our designer series paper, I'm going to cut um, five and an eighth inches by three and seven eighths. Okay. Now, how in the heck did I come up with that? I just want to show you my little trick for cutting this paper. Okay. So if I know I want to go three and seven eighths, I'm really doing it one eighth inch smaller than um the last layer that i cut which is four inches so actually what i do is i'll line it up and it might be easier if i bring it up here i line it up to the four inches and then i just move it an eighth of an inch smaller that's how i create my layers and um sometimes that's easier than trying to do the math in your head and kind of figure that out so for our next one our layer that's going behind it was five and a quarter. And so I want this an eighth of an inch smaller. So in math, that's five and one eighth. But in real life crafting, what I do is I line it up with five and a quarter and then I just shift it an eighth of an inch smaller. I hope that helps you. That's actually something that I've had um, a lot of crafters reach out to me and say, how the heck do you figure out the size of those layers? And that's how I do it. <clears throat> Okay, we are also going to use a piece of Whisper White, which I forgot to get out on the inside. And I'm just gonna cut that really quick. That is gonna be uh, five and a quarter by four. That's a pretty standard inside layer that I like to use um for my cards okay and then we've got a scrap of whisper white for our stamping i am going to use this uh joy to the world stamp today and show you a really cool technique for that Here. All right, I don't want this, uh, this image to be all the same color. I want the tree a different color and the words a different color. So I'm getting out my markers. And of course I picked the colors that coordinate. So mossy meadow, real red. And then I want yellow for my star. So I've got my yellow. And I am going to take the broad tipped end. There are two sizes, a broad tip end and a fine point end. Fine point, broad tip. And I'm gonna color right on my stamp. So for here, I want the words to be red, joy to the world. I want my tree to be green. So we'll do the same thing with our mossy meadow. Um, I find this is super easy to do on our red rubber. Um, I haven't done it very much with our photopolymer though, but you can do it. Okay, so now I've got the tree colored in my mossy meadow. And then the yellow for the star. And I'm going to stamp this. And you can see, I've got the three different colors on my stamp. I see we've got some more people watching. Thanks for joining. Make sure you say hi in the comments. I love to interact with you. I am curious, what are you guys having for lunch today? 
When I do this lunchtime live stamping, I usually eat when I'm done. And so sometimes I hear what you guys are having for lunch and it gives me great ideas for what I'm gonna have for lunch. <clears throat> okay, we're gonna use our essential tag punch and punch this out like so. Cute, isn't that cute? Oh my gosh, I just love, 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 love this stamp set and this punch. And I actually do, I want to use this as a tag. So I'm gonna get my hole puncher. This one's from Stampin' Up, but um, a lot of people have hole punches around their house. You can feel free to use that. If you don't have one, um, you can definitely get one through Stampin' Up, it's awesome. And I'm just gonna punch a hole kind of in the middle there, like so, if you can see that. And I want to stamp the inside of my card as well. So on the inside, I just want the tree. I don't want it to say joy to the world. So I am going to do the same method that I used when coloring for the front. Only I'm just going to skip the joy to the world part. So that's the cool thing when you color on your stamps like this. If there's a part of the stamp you don't want stamped, just don't color that part. So I'm just doing the tree and the star. And I'm going to stamp that here in the corner. Cute. I love how that tree looks. Something about that tree reminds me of my favorite, favorite kind of vintage Christmas movies, the Rudolphs and the Grinch and the Charlie Brown. I cannot get enough of those. My husband always laughs every year because he says, I married a little kid <laughs> because I have the Muppets Christmas Carol playing a thousand times during the season. And I watch Rudolph and the Grinch and Mickey Christmas Carol and all those that I loved watching as a kid. What is your favorite Christmas movie? I Do you watch any of those? I think that my favorite is probably the Muppet Christmas Carol. Um, my second favorite might be, oh, it might be Rudolph. I actually also really love, um, okay, so we're, sorry, I'm going to stop yapping about Christmas movies for a minute. Now I'm going to glue this designer series paper layer to this red layer that I cut. And I'm using stamp and seal because we all know, I just brag about how much I love it. This stuff is awesome. It's so smooth. It is so quiet. I love it so much. It's amazing. I use it every chance I get. Um, but anyway, I also really love to watch the um, Christmas Eve on Sesame Street. Um, and you can watch that for free on YouTube and it is awesome. <laughs> I absolutely love that one. That's the one where John is like, really? Okay, Muppet Muppets and now Sesame Street. Um, you're too old for that. <laughs> Never. I'm like a kid at heart at Christmas time. All right, let's glue the inside to our card too. Yes, the Hallmark Christmas movies are awesome. They're like so predictable, but so darn cute. Um, they are so great. I always have them going. Usually I have them playing in the background. Um, while I'm working from home, and I just love it. All right, we're going to glue our um, inside layer to our card base, like so. Okay, so there's our inside layer. Isn't that adorable? I love it. Okay, now, my inspiration for this card is a Christmas gift. Um, and I am going to now get out my 
think I'm gonna do twine on this one. So I'm gonna grab a piece, let me get my snips here. These things are so sharp, I just love them. Okay, so I'm gonna get a piece and wrap it around and um, tape it to the back like so. Um, you also could use, if you were going to use your glue rollers for this to hold this down, I would recommend Seal Plus um, because of the, how thick this, um, like your ribbon would be or your twine uh, to make sure that it's good and adhered. Both Hallmark channels. I know. Um, oh, the other Christmas movie I love. I found it on demand. We have Dish and I found it on demand from Freeform. It's called The 12 Dates of Christmas. And it has, I forget his name, but Zach from Saved by the Bell. And um, I can't remember her name. It's so darn cute. She keeps reliving this like blind date. And I love that movie. Okay, we're gonna wrap this twine around our card then and tie it in a bow next. So you can see how when I tie this, it's gonna look like a Christmas gift. Ooh, I made this really long, you guys. Oops, I'll have extra. Okay, so I'm gonna hold this down and grab the end and stick it through my tag here. So we're gonna grab this. Ah. And pull our tag through. Okay. I find that the twine's a little thick to tie a knot here, so I just hold this down. And this is way too long, so I got to trim some of this off. I just hold this piece down and then tie this in a bow. Of course, you can adjust the size of your loops. Okay. And then trim off your ends. Do you see how this looks like a Christmas package? So, so simple. Uh, grab my dimensionals here. I'm gonna pop this up onto my card base. Just like so. Got some new people who joined, welcome. Thank you for watching. I would love if you support my small business by sharing this video. Just take a hot minute and right down there is the share button and just share that on your Facebook page. I so appreciate it. Plus it enters you for a fabulous gift drawing. Um, okay, I'm gonna line this up. What do you think guys? And here we have a card that looks like a gift wrapped package. So, 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 so easy. Um, it comes together in no time at all. So this is our finished card. And blank so you can write on the inside. What do you think? Do you like this one? <clears throat> As I was playing around with my designer series paper, I had a lot of fun with this layout you guys like a lot of fun <laughs> so i also made this one um and this one uses our uh silver let me see what this is called the ribbon on here is our metallic edge ribbon in silver so this one i didn't stamp an inside yet but this is also using heartwarming hugs. And this one I love. This one uses two um, ribbons. It uses the real red 
And then it uses the gold here that comes in the Forever Greenery ribbon combo pack. Again, this is from the Heartwarming Hugs uh, designer series paper. Um, here's another one I made with the Joy to the World stamps um, <coughs> from that set. And this one uses our polka dot tool ribbon and it combines it with the real red braided trim and that gold. So this actually has three ribbons on it. Um, and I have one other one. This one's probably my favorite. It uses that red striped paper from the Heartwarming Hugs and I just used the regular braided linen trim. Um, this one has a real rustic-y kind of outdoorsy feel to it with that season's greeting reindeer. So I love that one as well. So you can see how easy it is for these cards to come together. What do you think? Do you love them? I love them. So um, thank you. Thank you so much for joining me today. Um, if you don't have a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, I would love to earn your business. You can find a link to shop my online store um, on my blog, countrycardsbyrose.blogspot.com. While you're there, um, just browse some of my other creative inspiration for you. And if you're watching this video on YouTube, just take a minute and subscribe to my YouTube channel so that you don't miss any videos from me. I will be live again. Uh, next week, Wednesday, over the lunchtime at 11.30 a.m. Central Standard Time. So you can join me again for another cute project. And I also have a virtual stamp class coming up on um, next week, Tuesday at 7 o'clock at night, 7, 7 Central Standard Time. Uh, and I'm going to show you how to make some really cute but simple um really cute but simple Christmas gift tags and a coordinating box that you can put them all in. So I am going to get back to working, but thank you for taking this creative break in your day with me. I will see you again here very soon. Have a great day, everyone. Bye.